Good to be back with you again. And uh, in this lesson, we're going to uh, go a little bit further into the Robert Johnson style. You might recall uh, in one of the earlier lessons that uh, we played uh, this little turnaround. In E. And I was saying that Robert Johnson used the same turnaround in about a half a dozen of his tunes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to practice um, a Robert Johnson theme in the key of A. And uh, he has several tunes like this. A Little Queen of Spades is one, and another one is Kind Hearted Woman. And so uh, that's what we'll be doing today is, is that kind of a 12-bar blues in A. Um, and it's going to use that same turnaround. So before we go anywhere, why don't we go ahead and practice that turnaround or learn that turnaround in A, and uh, then we can uh, work on the rest of the song. Okay, so as you recall, uh, in E, we hit the low E and then went to a high E. So we're going to do the same thing in A. What we're going to do is put the little finger on the fifth fret of the first string, and we're going to strike with our thumb the uh, low A, or the fifth string, and then follow through with that high A. So it's... Okay, then the ring finger goes to the fourth string, fifth fret, and we pinch the fourth and the first strings together, and strike the first string three times. So it's one, two, three, Okay, and just as we did the one before, our second finger then would go to the fourth fret, here of the fourth string, and two strikes on the A here on the first string, and then the index finger goes to the third fret of the uh, fourth string, and two strikes on the A here on the first string, and then one strike here on the uh, with the index finger on the second fret of the fourth string. So uh, that whole sequence looks and sounds like this. And some people have a little trouble at first with this because it doesn't go... Because actually, if you were to break this down time-wise, it actually goes from 12-8 time, one, two, three, and we'd continue one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, if it was 12, eight, but then it goes into eight, eight time, which is one, two, one, two, and then four, four, one. Okay, so that's kind of why it, it throws a lot of people off. My suggestion is, and it has always been, to uh, listen with your ear. It's much easier than to try counting it out. So uh, you've heard that da, 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 type of a, of a uh, melody before. So if you could familiarize yourself with this little melody, it makes it a lot easier. In other words, and kind of get that in your head, da, 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 da. Uh, then that rhythm will make a lot more sense to you. Okay, so again, let's look at that turnaround. Hit the low A, hit the high A, then your turnaround. Okay, and this time we're going to go to the E chord, or the five chord in this case, and we're going to hammer on first the major third or the first fret on the third string. Follow through on the f first string here. Okay, put the little finger down then on the uh, third fret of the second string, which is the seventh of the chord, and we're going to hit the, the tonic or the root note here on the sixth string along with that seventh. Follow through on the first string. So notice I'm working two fingers, first and second fingers, and one more strike on the on the bass note. So again, um, that, that E sequence is pretty easy, it's just this. Again, no bass note here. But then we add one when we add the seventh, and one more to complete. Okay, so looking at that whole turnaround and adding that E tag on it, it sounds like this. Great. 
So in the next lesson, I'm going to come back and teach you the body of the song.